I've always been drawn to making things. Um, since I was a little child, I've always enjoyed exploring things through being physical with material. So it just seems sort of second nature to me to want to use my hands and to express myself that way. When I went to art school, it was always sculpture rather than any other form of art that I wanted to pursue. The physicality of, of a, a sculpture, but the stillness of it, it just allows you time to look at it and discover it in your own way. I think that it's more, in some ways, it's sort of, you can look at it in a more personal way than a, a flat painting or, a, or other sort of form of art. My name is uh, Cathy Lewis. Most of my work has uh, is a questioning of of society or of um, you know are we behaving in the right way? We need people thinking about peace at all, <laughs> all times. I mean, I, you know, obviously it's um, it couldn't be a more important subject really. So I was just drawn to the subject matter. Uh, I'm Stephen Lewis, born just outside of Manchester. Then I went to Wolverhampton um, Polytechnic to do my fine art degree. I then moved down to Bristol. So there was a bronze casting course at Barrow Ashton, the art college in Bristol. Um, so I enrolled onto that where I met Cathy. So Cathy had moved to Bristol from Falmouth and we were the only two on the course. And then you could just sort of, you know, working together, you could just tell that we could work together. We, did, we Even then we could work together fine. And then we started working on bronze casting together. And then I asked you to marry me, and then, <laughs> and then uh, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> I suppose a lot of the sort of imagery uh, around peace is linked to religions. So I wanted to sort of, I suppose, use some of those ideas because those are what people associate with peace, but to take the any specific faith angle out of it so it was more open to everybody. I think the thing about figurative sculpture is that it is very non-elitist. It's for you know it is for everybody. No matter what background you have, you can get something from it. Um, so I wanted something that anybody and everybody would be able to respond to. Obviously, I really like um, Cathy's ideas and, uh, and what she does. Um, so I want them to be seen, I want them to be out there. So Cathy has ambition, Cathy has big ambition um, to be not scared of doing big things and big, and so I can just help with doing that really, physically help just doing that. We seem to work well together really. Um, we don't bicker like lots of people seem to do, um, and we just get on with it. We haven't found an art scene in Carlisle yet, but I'm sure there is people doing things. It, that doesn't actually matter as long as you can get the stuff to London. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter where you are. Uh, you, you have, sadly, it's, it's still one city country. With this piece, we're making a mould of the, of the clay figure without the drapes, and then we can angle that to put the um, material on and help use the gravity to get the form. And then from that, um, another mould is made, and then that's taken to the foundry and they make a wax and then they make another mould of that and then they make, they transpose that into the bronze and then have to do all the finishing of that. So welding up the, the armature onto back iron, the back iron supports the, um, the armature and the, the, the work whilst it's been made. I tend to sort of um, look at some reference images because again it's not a a portrait or a sculpture of 
anybody in particular. It's, it's a more of an idea, to carry an idea, rather than any individual. She's standing for peace. Well, I just really hope that people do you know, understand it, that it is about peace and can't, I hope it can't be um, read in any other way. Everybody comes to any work with their own ideas and you just hope that people are going to have similar thoughts when they see it. So I hope people do enjoy it and, and get a sense of peace from it and hope that it does do that.